Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. Big news for mobile players. Playing PC multiplayer games on Android just got one step closer. The official WinLater version 10.1 hotfix is out now. And while it's not a massive update, it brings some very useful improvements, especially for those trying to run the Steam client and even test online games. So today, I'll walk you through the update details, how to set everything up, and my test results with a real game. Let's get started. Let's start with the update itself. The V10.1 hotfix mainly focuses on fixing Steam client startup issues issues, which is a big deal since previous versions had trouble launching it at all. They've also added Adreno tools to the Vortec driver, which could help to add custom drivers in Vortec. One change worth noting, they removed DigiVoodoo from the DX wrappers, likely to clean up compatibility issues. And of course, there are the usual bug fixes and minor improvements under the hood. Now let's get into the setup process. First, open the WinLater app and grant all necessary permissions. Let the initial data extraction and setup complete. It might take a few minutes. After that's done, head over to settings. Set the cursor speed to 200% for easier navigation. Then enable the checkbox that says, Use Android Clipboard on Wine. This helps with pasting your Steam login details. For the Box64 version, select 0.3.7. Under Box64 Preset, choose the Performance Preset. That's it for this part. Save your settings. Now it's time to create a new container. Tap the plus icon, and for the screen resolution, I recommend 1280x720. Then comes the graphics driver. If your phone has a Snapdragon processor, select Turnip. If you're using MediaTek, or Molly, go with Vortec. Open the driver settings if you want, but nothing really needs to be changed there. Next, set your DX wrapper to DXVK and open its settings. Select version 2.6.1. For the audio driver, choose Pulse Audio and turn on the Show FPS option if you want performance feedback. Now go into the Advanced section. Here, set the Box 64 preset again to Performance, choose Aggressive for startup selection, and make sure the Windows version is set to Windows 10. Finally, turn on all processor affinity options, then save your container. Once the container is created, launch it. Tap the back button to open quick settings and toggle on full screen. Navigate through your internal storage and find your Steam folder. Look for steam.exe and double finger tap to launch it. After starting, go back to quick settings, open task manager, and observe Steam's memory usage. If the memory isn't increasing, Steam is stuck. Just close win later and try again. On your second attempt, if the memory begins to rise, that means Steam is finally working. Once the Steam login screen appears, go back to quick settings and use the keyboard button to to input your login info. After entering your Steam username and password, approve the login via the Steam mobile app. It may take a moment, but Steam will eventually log in and relaunch itself in full screen mode. That's how you know you're in. So now that Steam is fully up and running, I went to my library to test a game. I don't have many paid titles on this account, so I added a free to play game, The Walking Zombie 2, to give it a try. The download went fine, but when I clicked on play, nothing happened. I tried a few more times, still no luck. Then I right clicked on the game, went to manage, and selected browse local files. That opened the game's directory. I found game.exe and launched it directly. It actually opened, but right away I got an error. Couldn't find Steam client. So the game did start, but it couldn't connect to Steam properly, which means multiplayer and online features don't work yet. Still, this is a major breakthrough. Steam now launches, lets you log in, and you can even start some game executables on Android. We're not 100% there yet for full multiplayer support, but this update brings us a lot closer. If you found this walkthrough helpful, please like, subscribe, and let me know in the the comments which Steam game you want me to try next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.